What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be swapping out this train heat pump package unit. I found a back compressor on it the other day, so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing swapped out. Let's do some work. So the new unit's gonna be an identical swap out, so that's gonna be nice. Everything should match right back up. The only difference is gonna be, we're gonna put the new unit on some three inch pump ups to get it elevated off the ground, especially after last week's snow we had and all the ice. Uh, I wanna prevent that from being an issue in the future. So I'm going to be installing this April Air filter. It's going to go in the return inside the unit itself. This is a kit. It's an access door here that train sells. And basically what it does is it replaces this side. This is the return here. And it replaces this side panel. So you don't have to take out a bunch of screws. It's quarter turn. And it's on a hinge door. And then you can get to your filter. No problem. So the existing flex and squared rounds are in good shape. So we're gonna basically just disconnect from the unit itself and connect to the new unit. Everything should line up perfectly. All right, so we got the old unit flipped up. We're gonna go ahead and get the pad cleaned up for this new unit. What I like to do on package units, I like to inspect the old EVAP coil, see if it's dirty or clean, because that's gonna kind of tell me if we have some uh, return duct issues, maybe a duct was open, that sort of thing. Just a good tip to kind of look at stuff like that that'll give you an idea of what's going on with the system. Back it up. All right, we got the new unit set. This dolly is phenomenal. If you guys haven't seen me use this before, this basically makes it to where I can set these units by myself. All the way from the trailer, roll it in here. It's phenomenal. Anyway, so we got the unit set. Everything's gonna look really good. We're gonna go ahead and hook up the squared rounds first before we put the three inch pump ups underneath the unit. So we're gonna have, get all that hooked up right now. All right guys, so on package unit replacements like this, it is super important that you get the ducts sealed up properly. Now, the way I do it is with the SureTape SF686. This is a really good masking tape. It adheres to the metal very well, uh, especially if you're using a squeegee like I always like to use. You're gonna get that duct sealed up properly so you don't have any leaks. All right, so we've got the squared rounds hooked up. We're just gonna get everything nice and sealed. One thing you wanna do with any kind of tape is make sure you use a squeegee. It really helps apply that tape down and adhere very well so my original intention was to install this april air filter media in here which i've done on bigger units but this is a two and a half ton unit and it's smaller so i didn't quite like how it fit in there it just took up too much space it would have to be really close to the evap coil and i didn't want that so i had that and then i also had this door i was going to put on where you could easily just you know twist the knobs there and open it up and remove the filter but I don't like how that's working out so I think I'm gonna just scrap that idea and uh, get some squirt arounds made for this and install it in the crawl space where there's easy access anyway so but that's gonna have to be at a later date all right so we got the unit set in place we got the pump ups underneath the unit which is good everything's connected got the new shroud installed we just got to get all this old silicone off the brick be in good shape we got the drain line left and then we should be ready to start this thing up all right everything is looking really good everything is complete We're just finishing up on the silicone on the hood there we got the drain line finished up Power's on, the blower's running. We just need to go inside, turn the thermostat on, get everything checked out. Well, there you go, guys. That's a pretty quick and easy swap out when you have a like-for-like -like system like that with a couple of adjustments, no big deal. Installs, pretty quick. So we're gonna go in and finish up starting everything up and checking everything, but that's gonna complete today's video. I hope you got something out of it. Hit that thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.